My expertise is in fiber optics and lasers, and we use those in various applications, including telecommunications, defense, and healthcare. One experiment that we're doing in our lab involves what are called SWEAR supercontinuum lasers. SWEAR is short wave infrared. It's just beyond the visible wavelength range and it's just beyond where telecommunication systems work. But it's a wavelength range that is very rich because you can do what's called spectral fingerprinting of various kinds of solid materials as well as biological materials. We're building these lasers that are going up into the towers at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base down in Dayton, Ohio, and then after the testing there are actually going to be going on to drone aircraft. And that's because the surveillance agencies in the Department of Defense want to look for particular kinds of substances. Explosives, firearms, improvised explosive devices or IEDs all have very unique signatures in this SWEAR wavelength range. And so the notion is to have a drone that flies overhead and looks for explosives or IEDs before the troops come into an area. We have another laser that we are developing over in the medical school where we're doing it in cardiovascular diseases. This is a laser, it's a fiber laser that operates at a wavelength of 1720 nanometers. That corresponds to where there's a minimum in water and blood absorption, but at the same time can target particular kinds of tissue. What we're trying to do is to go into minimally evasive procedures, i.e. catheter-based procedures, where we then use that laser to try to treat hypertension and also arrhythmia, or irregular heartbeats. In the techniques that are used today, people use what's called radiofrequency or RF techniques to try to ablate parts of your arteries. We want to replace that with an optical technique where by focusing the light we can damage the layer below the skin that we care about without damaging the top layer and by that means make it so that you can recover much faster. I remember one of the things that my boss said to me when I first joined coming out of school. He said, you should spend time thinking about the project and picking your project carefully before you go into it. And given two experiments you might do, one which is really great science and the other one that is also good science but can impact how people do things and have an application, pick the one that has an application because people will care about the results that you get.